Tamra Leach was one of the organizers of the convoy in Ottawa in January, in jail for 48 days, not even gone before a judge to see whether she's guilty or not. Rob McDonald is a prominent criminal defense lawyer in Toronto and joins me right now because I want to put it to you. It seems to me, and most people I would think say, holy cow, how can you be in jail for 48 days and you haven't been found guilty? An ax murderer sometimes is out faster than that. That's right, Stephen. Uh, I think her uh, biggest trouble is that she was accused of breaching one of the terms of her bail. So that the first time she was released, she had a list of rules she had to follow. She gets accused of breaking one of those terms and they locked her up. And the judge, when it finally got before a judge, he said, this is baloney, let her go. Let off the shackles. But does that not bring justice into disrepute? Isn't this supposed to be reasonably speedy? You know, 48 days in jail for something relatively minor, that's probably more than she would serve if she was found guilty. That's true. So what happens is when someone gets arrested and charged, they can usually get to a bail hearing the next day within 24 hours. If that hearing goes against them, it can be quite a bit of time before they, under 520 of the criminal code, seek a bail review and have that review heard. So, but I mean, one of the, uh, one of the, the hallmarks of Canadian justice is that justice must be seen to be done. Do you not agree that justice is not seen to be done in this case? This poor woman from Alberta, they actually went out to Alberta and dragged her back to Ottawa for the second hearing. That's right. I mean, does that not offend you as a lawyer to sit there and say, this is baloney? Well, I'm a defense lawyer, so I tend to agree with you. Uh, well, Stephen. even the Crown, though. <laughs> I look at the Crown, they say there's something amiss here. Yeah, well, uh, look, the Crown attorney went after her and went after her vigorously. And uh, That's fair. this was a contested hearing, and this was something that uh, even on bail review, which is essentially an appeal of, of the bail decision, they went after uh, full steam ahead again. Are we short of judges? Why did it take so long between the time when a JP who's not a lawyer and who may not even be well-trained in the law said, oh, you're against my friend, the prime minister, you're going to go to jail, and a, a, you know, a judge who knows what's going on saw that case. Are we short of judges? No, so what happens is when someone's charged with an offense, the first time that they're up for bail, they will typically go before a justice of the peace, unless yeah. it's a very serious offense, like a homicide or something like that. So if they go up before a JP and they're detained, then they have to do a, essentially an appeal of their bail or a bail review, and that's when they go up to superior court judge. And that takes a long time. And that takes a long time. It does. Typically- And should it? Well, when you, 48 days without being found guilty bother you? It does. Uh, what, what someone has to do, though, is after, if they lose a bail hearing, and that's what yeah. I always say to other lawyers and, and any client, don't rush into it. If you lose first time out of the gate, you're going to be sitting for a while. You've got to order the transcript from the bail hearing. Then you've got to find dates with the superior court to find a judge that's ready to hear it. And you've got, your, you've got to get your materials together to go for a bail review. Rob McDonald, good legal advice. Thank you very much. Three minutes. If you did not know that the Red Ensign, formerly Canada's flag, has now been labeled by the Canadian government a symbol of hate, and they're sending that to all the students, then press subscribe and PayPal and learn more.